Today we're talking about pools, like the one behind us. Our pool video that we posted a few years ago had some great information, but a lot has changed since then. And we've also learned a lot as sure pool have. owners and realtors in the area for the mm -hmm. last four years. So we're going to do an update and share some new information and lessons we've learned about pools. So let's go to Pool School Part 2. Okay, pool school part two. It's been four years almost since we bought the house and put the pool in, and we've learned quite a bit. So what I'm gonna do is kinda just go over the things that we've learned, the things that we did right, some things that we now wish we did differently, and show you how to take care of the pool, go over some of the specs of the pool itself. So just follow with me. I'm gonna start by talking about the pool. It's about 22 by 14. It's rectangular, not quite perfect. As you can see, we have bubblers in the sun shelf right here. We have two bowls in the back that spill water, four jets surrounding the various walls, and then we have two lights as well. We also have a little umbrella holder in the, the tray too, if you could stick an umbrella in there. It's a travertine decking, a little expensive, but in our opinion, well worth it, right on? Yep. Um, Looks and great. we love it. Yep. The cage has held up fantastic. Even through the hurricane, we had no problems, which was awesome. That's a 30 foot piece in the middle and then two 10 foot pieces, just so you can get an idea of the the design that was all by choice. So yeah, it's cool. Let me talk to you next about some of the decisions we made that maybe we would do differently. The thing that we kind of really wish we did was add a spot. We thought about adding one after the fact, got a price for it, and it was $50,000 with the caveat. Yes, I said 50,000 which if you remember our last video, <laughs> we barely paid more than that for the entire thing. So pricing has changed a little bit, but yeah, it was gonna be 50 grand to add a hot tub. All this would have had to have been ripped up. And then the caveat was they can't promise that the pool itself wouldn't be damaged by doing the addition and any additional cost, including possibly having to redo the entire interior of the pool would be extra. But anyway, that was a big oops on our part. And we thought, you know, Florida, it's hot. Who needs a hot tub? It's cold in the winter. It's definitely something we wish we did. If you don't believe me that the water is absolutely frigid, I'm gonna go get the thermometer, which has made its way out into the middle of the sun shelf. <laughs> oh my God. Oh wow. 66. I'm not going in that water. I cannot feel my toes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the polar plunge. Yeah. You're not going in without a heater, trust me. I wrote down the 10 things that we talked about in our first video, figuring let me chime in with a little feedback on each one of them. Number one was, do I need my own pool? We use our pool all the time, as often as possible. It's like our retreat at the end of the day. If you have a family, if you have children, kids love the pool, I would say, yes, you do need your own pool, unless your living situation or the size of your property just doesn't afford it, or you're really close to the community pool and you think you wanna use that. But if you want your own private little oasis, yes. Number two, how much does it cost to build a new pool? <laughs> <laughs> well, that certainly has changed in four years. I would say the cost has doubled, if not almost tripled. And I know that's not good news, but it's the truth. Something like this cost us around maybe 75. Easily, this is 150 to $175,000 pool at this point. Simply based on cost of materials, cost of labor, and all the things that have happened over the last few years. Number three, salt water versus chlorine. I would stick with salt water we we love it it makes it really simple the water feels nice yes i would stick with salt water but there's nothing wrong with a chlorine pool if that's what you want to do why do i need a cage is number four spend half an hour outside without a cage at sunset and you'll have that answer <laughs> <laughs> the bugs are relentless especially at sunset so it also just keeps things really clean and, and simple so the cage is fantastic and it creates this oasis living space basically it's like a, an add-on to the home number five was how much does it cost to maintain the pool i don't have an exact figure because i do it myself but i go to the pool store and i have to buy like chemicals or salt three or four times a year at the most so i would say if you do it yourself you're looking at 250 maybe 250 dollars worth of material um, and that's just your time and energy we also pay to have the travertine power washed if you have shade or if you have uh, wet conditions a lot of rain you're gonna get like green algae a little bleach and water helps but power washing really is the only way to keep it looking as good as it is and Okay, the sixth question in our last video was, does a pool add value? I would say absolutely it still does. Definitely. Probably close to 100% of the people we have sold houses to since we made that video 
either bought a house with a pool or added one after they closed. Yes. So when they do go to resell, they have that added value as part of it. Number seven, how much to heat a pool and what are the heater options? You kind of already touched on the, the gas. Versus yeah, I do have a number though. Uh, we have a friend who has a gas heater to heat up the pool entirely from scratch if it's really cold is like 50 bucks every time in the winter. So if you're intending to use the pool in the colder months and heat it, prepare to pay the gas company. <laughs> and then he costed, if that's a word. It's not. <laughs> I think it is, so it might be. Cost. Depends on how you're using when you, it. Yeah, he costed out the- Oh, okay. Okay. It's about 10 bucks of gas every time he heats up the spa. If you have a heat pump in the winter time, it probably is gonna have a tough time keeping up because it just isn't as quick and efficient. Heat pumps are good for when the water temperature is higher. I just maintain like it. Like still cold, but higher so that it's not having to lift the temperature 20, 30 degrees. All right, let's... Uh, Number eight was how do we keep it safe? Not much has changed there. No, you either have the the, uh, the netting, the, the fencing around it, or you pool put alarm. the pool alarms on the doors. Number nine, how long does pool equipment last? <laughs> let's just talk about how our pool has held up. Fantastic. The pool heater, the switchboard did short out Aquacal is the company that made the pool heater and they were great. They're out of St. Petersburg and they came right down and replaced the switchboard um, for no charge because it's under warranty. We had to replace our salt cell once, also under warranty. I mean, stuff happens. You know, the pool is running all the time. The filter pump is running six to eight hours. They're moving parts. They're going to they're gonna wear out over time. Yeah, Got to maintain them. So far, great. And number 10, can I use it all year? Yeah, I mean, it depends on how you're using it, what type of heater you have, if you have mm -hmm. a heater, but that's all, you know, up to you. If you don't mind a little bit cooler water in the winter and you want to go in year round, go for it. Or spending the money yep. paying a gas company. Absolutely. But <laughs> yes, you can. Just depends on if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> so those were the 10 questions. Those are our answers again. Updated for 2023. So let's show them. Yeah, behind the scenes, how you take care of the pool and how easy it is. Yep. And uh, some more details on that. All right, I'll give the court, I'll give the Ooh. court the court the court i'll give the camera back to court first things first fill this with the pool water and take it down to pinch a penny get it tested what the report the printout said i have to add acid to the pool to adjust the ph you buy it at lowe's or home depot gallon buckets like this a word of warning if you splash this on yourself it's going to burn your skin if you get it in your eyes you're going straight to the emergency room. First thing you want to do, go open the electric box, shut everything off, be safe. I've got lights, I got filter pump. Just shut them both off. Filter. Open up this little bad boy right here and let the pressure out. I like to hold on to this because it's very easy to lose. All right, so we're going to take the top off of this, expose the filter. A couple more. There we go. Grab the filter. This one's not too dirty actually, so we're doing well. I'll set it aside, hose it off, and then put it back in. Perfect. I'm gonna take the top off the basket now. That's it, and just pick it up. Ooh, there's a lizard in here. A live one? There's a gecko. I'm saying he's not alive. Oh, okay. <laughs> Pull it out by hand. Okay. There, and then you give it a tight there until it can't go any further and it's closed. That's that. I'll put the cover back on. Start spinning it. It'll lock in. Make sure that's tight. Uh, all right, cool. Salt cell, I'm gonna open that up, which is an easy little turn. And that's the Jandy salt cell. So in there, there's these metal fins. There's a view window. And you wanna look, I don't know if you could see, see that like white crud? Mm -hmm. If you get a ton of calcium deposits and they start touching each other and the fins are no longer doing what they're going to need to do to generate the chlorine, the fastest way to clean this, I'll show you, a little muriatic acid and water. Where do you Actually, recommend we buy a bucket like that? Amazon. <laughs> do you like my bucket? <laughs> it's like in there. And can you see it bubbling a little bit? See the bubbles? Mm -hmm. So the acid is eating away at that. When I see it stop bubbling, I'll know it's done and I'll take it out of here. Okay, put it back in. I'm gonna sit it down in here. There it is. And then you wanna give it a nice solid turn to the right and make sure it's tight. That's it. So I'm gonna fire it back up, show you how to do that, and then we'll go back to the pool. Step one, turn it all back on. All right, it's firing back up. It's gonna take a second. 
this is the main basket where the what do they call this skimmer, skimmer. You take that out of here dump it out rinse it off put it back in so based on the pull results i need to add the muriatic acid into the water to balance the ph it says to add the acid to pool water and then just kind of drizzle that around so that's what i'm going to do so dump that in there that looks pretty good now i'm going to put this into the water gently don't splash and i like to put it in front of the jet so that the jet will push it out into the pool here's a couple tips metal wire brush i wish i bought it sooner it cleans the finish on the pool so well and it doesn't take a lot of effort just brush it every now and then if you see black spots brush them out comes right out nice job pool boy but thank you this stuff is magic it's like high powered chlorine tablets you would shut the pool off at the end of the day, sprinkle it all on the surface of the water. It goes all the way down to the bottom and it'll sit on top of any kind of pesky stains or mold that you have and get rid of it. Lastly, we don't really use this because we realize it's kind of a losing battle. But if you are going to heat your pool in the winter, the temperature drops 15, 20, 25 degrees overnight. This creates kind of like a solar blanket on top of the water and will retain heat better so that you don't have to heat it up as much. <laughs> all right. And if you really want to get fancy and you want to buy a gadget, this is the one to buy. We call this uh, the Pool Boy. Pools, vacuum skimmer, thingy-majigga, climbs the walls and does really cool stuff. Put it on, plug it in, run it for half an hour, take it out. That simple. It's on Amazon. Our lovely clients, John and Sandy, recommended it to us when they built their pool. Yeah, it, it's awesome. That's it. This is our Pool Boy. Oh, the cost of doing a pool. You're going to spend about $100 a month for someone to do this work that I just did. And I probably convinced a lot of you to spend that hundred dollars. <laughs> I think you convinced yourself after this. <sighs> I need something to do, you know? <laughs> yeah, we're not busy. Yeah, please, no, when I get in the pool though, I'm like immediately brushing it and doing stuff because I just can't stay still. So that that's me. It's true. Fair. Mm -hmm. There is one thing that I forgot to say that I wish we had done. Can you see that little white See, I'll point it. There's a little teeny white drain hole there. You may or may not be able to see it. It's just under the travertine. When we put the pool in, we were unaware that um, it rains a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and the water was coming up like onto the travertine or, you know, it was almost overflowing and I had no way to get rid of the water. Um, you can put an auto drain, which most people do into their pools. Unfortunately, we were not made aware of that. So we had a, a, a workaround. They put in an overflow drain, which is what I just pointed at. And it actually works great. And it just drains out um, if it gets to that level out into the mulch beds and into the yards. But if you're not gonna be around and you're absentee owner or you're a uh, snowbird, you're probably gonna want that autofill auto drain because you, you need to uh, maintain the level of the water. We have a hose bib. I add water as needed, which this water is probably gonna need a lift in another few days. So when the builder asks you, do you want a hose bib in your lanai? The answer is yes, you sure. need that and that's why. Additional $250 hose bib is worth it? 100%. All right, everyone, we hope you enjoyed a behind the scenes look at how we care for our pool, some updates on pools in general and all the information we provided a few years ago and that you enjoyed looking at our little piece of paradise. We still love Absolutely. it. Absolutely. And um, we're not going to go into today because it's a little cold, but we will use it all summer long. Yep. So thanks for watching. I'm Courtney. This I'm is Michael. Michael. With Charles Ruttenberg Realty here in Lake LaGrange, Florida. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Oh, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click the thumbs up button below. We put out videos like this as frequently as we can with useful information that helps you in your real estate search.